Here's a brief history of contactless card technology. The Octopus Card was one of the first contactless smart card systems to reach the market and was first developed in 1994 by the ERG Group, an Australian company who was responsible for the building and installation of the system components. Released to the public in 1997, it quickly grew from a travel-based contactless card to a multi-purpose stored value card. With cash and checks quickly becoming a thing of the past, cardholders can use their Octopus card to quickly and easily pay for groceries, coffee and fast food without having to fumble around for change. In recent years, the Octopus card has also been used as an entry control device for schools, offices and residential buildings. After the success of Hong Kong's Octopus card, London decided to follow suit with one of their own, the Oyster card. In 1998, a £100 million contract was signed with Transys, a consortium of technology companies. After an initial rollout to Transport for London staff, the Oyster card was released to the public in July 2003. Unlike the Octopus card, it can only be used in public transport in and around London. In September 2007, the One Pulse card was introduced by Barclay Card and Transport for London. The card uses the NXP Smart MX chip to combine the existing chip and pin functionality with Visa PayWave contactless payment and an Oyster card. Unfortunately, this card is locked to a single bank and doesn't allow users to add other information such as access to buildings, loyalty cards and university information. The Oyster card has been proved to be wildly successful with 34 million cards issued and over 80% of journeys in London made using it. Alright, hi everyone. So welcome to our third innovation meeting. Uh, so guys, what we've got so far then? Uh, we know we want to develop some kind of card that combines the Imperial ID card with an Oyster card. But isn't just like the Octopus card? Yeah, maybe we should put some credit and debit card features. Okay, but isn't that just like the Barclay card now? Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, look, uh, imagine we had that card we were talking about earlier. We could call it the um, One Card. Uh, it would start off as a platform for both access control, both in university and on the due, and it could also function as a credit and debit card for both online and offline payments. However, what would make it different is we could partner with other organisations in order to expand its usage range. Sounds good. The thing is we could create a website where the card users could log in in order to update their one card preferences whenever a new user enables their technology to be used in the system. Besides, the main difference between the card and the Oxford card would not only be its ease of use, but the way in which we interact and introduce partners. I don't think that would be hard actually since the technology for it already exists. What we're doing is it's only taking advantage of the existing technology and like sell it in an innov innovative way. We can even develop a phone app for it where users could manage their accounts anywhere they go and at any time. Also, because the system is going to be developed in such an easy to use way, its potential of recruiting new partners is very high over time. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, the car comes with work as a business facility so for partners. I mean, imagine. Whenever a new partner joins our system, they can make more money in sales since there are, these are done in fast and automated way. This would also be beneficial for us because more cards will be issued with partners if an analysis. Hey, let me see if I can print out a card and uh, um, develop one using my Windows PC. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, oh, Built-in printer. Oh, oh look! There we go! <laughs> wow! wow. Beautiful. That's pretty good. So, I think I'll present our idea to the director soon. Yeah, yeah. Everybody agree? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, Nick, what do you think? Yeah, what a great idea. Cool. So, I'm just going to introduce you to the idea of the One Card. And we're also going to cover how to bring it to the market. Developing the One Card is actually less complicated than you might imagine. Because the technology used in the card has been used in other systems, we are simply implementing the system in a more user-friendly manner. As each company has their own ways of storing data, careful liaison is required between companies in order to ensure that the data we provide customers is as accurate as possible. Issuing cards can be done using existing equipment and technology. We simply need to provide blank cards to issuers. Instead of just being the banks that issue the cards, they can also be now issued by universities and employers, basically anyone with a card printer. The cards can generally be printed within about 5 minutes, reducing the time taken to get up and running, and providing a way to get a quick replacement if they're lost or stolen. 
Now, because the cars use existing technology, they can be used in existing devices, such as underground turnstiles, chip and pin machines, as well as for entry systems found on doors, reducing the investment required to participate in the scheme. In order to get cardholders to make use of the WAN cards, we will partner with employers and universities to offer to combine the existing card system. This will ensure that, as customers already have the card, they can more likely to make use of it and enable the additional features. The advantage of using a single card for all transactions is that the card issuers are able to track where it is being used and develop targeted promotions to the users based on their usage habits. For example, if the card is being used in a shop, they might be able to see when it was last used there. Our end user market are users who work in large companies or universities who already have an existing card solution with an infrastructure already in place, as well as potentially new users who are unaffiliated. These people could directly apply to us to take advantage of the one card's features. Our partners would be the issuing banks, retailers for loyalty card functions and Transport for London for the Oyster card functionality. When cutting access fees to the parties which issue the card for enrolling a new user and the per transaction costs. The most important danger to look out for when designing the system will be the data security. A large amount of information is stored, so we must ensure that we are compliant with the Data Protection Act 1998. This has revolutionized my life. I don't need to care about change anymore. So this is like one of the awesome products I've seen so far. I believe it's going to be a huge impact to people outside there. It's going to change the way we interact, the way we buy stuff from the supermarket. Simply tap. <laughs>